Today, Chief Meteorologist Bill Steffen was recognized for his work in broadcasting. Bill received the Silver Circle Award for his nearly 40 years of service to all of us here in West Michigan and the major he role he's played in bringing us the weather. In his 38-year broadcasting career, Bill Steffen has helped pioneer weather forecasting in West Michigan, a passion he developed as a boy in suburban Chicago. My first weather cast I did in my Boy Scout uniform in April of 1967. We were testing cable TV in Winnecke, Illinois. I didn't own a coat and tie, so I had to use my Boy Scout uniform, and it was either me or the fish tank. By the time I was eight years old, I had a weather station in the backyard. I was measuring snow and calling the measurements into the local TV station. I'm just a little kid. He officially broke into television in the early 1970s. I got in this business when there were very few meteorologists on TV. When I first showed up here, I had hair over my ears, down over my shoulders. I was like the hippy dippy weatherman, you know, peace, love, kindness, sunshine. But in West Michigan, the sunshine often gives way to storms. Take the blizzard of 78 where Bill distinguished himself with a marathon round of forecasting. We had 15 inches of snow in 15 hours, and all the other weathercasters were snowed in, so I did every weathercast morning, noon, and night for 72 hours straight. I think during that stretch, I probably slept for two hours. Bill's use of technology and commitment to the sciences revolutionized the idea of reliable and accurate weather forecasting, technology that wasn't always dependable. It's so nice to have all the toys that we have today. The first radar I used was an old RCA AVQ-10 radar that was hauled out of an aircraft in World War II, and it looked like somebody threw up on a rug. I mean, it was just black and white, and if it was light rain, it didn't show up. If it was really heavy rain, you had a little bit of a white blob there. Bill's reach goes well beyond his on-camera work. He has logged tens of thousands of miles in the car, traveling to schools in every corner of West Michigan. I've done probably two to 3,000 talks at schools. I don't charge, that's probably why I get a lot of requests to do that. And I run into people all the time who are in their 40s, even 50s, who come up to me and say, you know, when I was a little kid, you came to my school. For nearly four decades, Bill's been the most dependable voice of weather in West Michigan. And while a lot has changed since that first forecast, some things haven't. I grew that when I was about 18, 19 years old, and I've had it ever since. You get to a point where you're kind of grandfathered in, and it becomes your, your symbol, your identity, your icon, and I've always had it. He's always had it. The mustache, the work ethic, the credibility, the love for community. I love the public. I really do. One of the greatest things about my job is interacting with people. And Bill Steffen is one of the greatest things about West Michigan weather.